Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. I have Joanna here with me. Hi. That means we've got a tank set up. We finally got an opportunity to set up the 125 Lake Tanganyikan Woo. tank. I want to say thank you to Corey from Aquarium Co-op for sponsoring this video. We've got some really cool Fluval 3.0 lights on this tank. If you are looking for fish related stuff, Aquarium Co-op is the place to go. Awesome customer service and really super fast shipping. I will put their information in the description below, aquariumcoop.com. Definitely worth a look. So what did we do on this tank? I did a lot of research. I got you a lot of piles of rocks, which I know you like anyways, but it also added some plants for you because you have to have plants. So one of the things I wanted that's not quite typical for a Lake Tanganyika setup is I wanted to add some plants to our piles of rocks. I know in Lake Tanganyika, you've got piles of rocks everywhere and very little plants, but I wanted to have a somewhat planted Lake Tanganyika tank. And I think you did a really good job with this one. I think they like it. And we can finally see some of the fish that we've never seen. It's been a big hide. problem. A lot of our fish room tours, we've had tanks. I've shown you Lake Tanganyika tanks. I'm like, yeah, there's some fish in this tank and we very rarely get to see them, but they're really coming out in this setup. And I think it's gonna be awesome. I think you'll enjoy it. So stay tuned. So here we have it. This is the beginning of the top 125. We have the sand substrate in the tank. It is a white sand this time compared to the black sand that we used in the bottom 125. So it's gonna be a different look for a different fish. So stay tuned. All right, so Joanna put the rocks in the tank here. It's looking good so far. We do have some plants over here on the right hand side that we're gonna add. Not a lot, but I just wanna add a little bit of greenery. It's looking good so far. I'm happy with the way it's turning so out. Joanna's got some plants and not a lot of plants because with the scape that we're going with, we don't need a lot of plants. It's looking really good. We're gonna get water in here now, and then we're gonna get the filtration going and get the fish in the tank. Hopefully it looks pretty cool when it's all filled up. All right, everybody, so this is the top 125. I am very excited to actually reveal this and have this done. Joanna, I think, did a really good job on this tank. What this tank is gonna be housing are fish from Lake Tanganyika. And I know this is not your typical Lake Tanganyika setup. Usually you see a big, giant, huge pile of round rocks in one side or throughout the tank. And that would be a very appropriate biotope style tank. But I wanted something that not only housed the Lake Tanganyika fish, but was also pleasing to look at. And so Joanna came up with this. And we're gonna explain a little bit about what's in here, what has been done. But I really love the way it turned out. And so here on the far left hand side, you can see throughout the tank, we've got some flagstone. We get our flagstone from a local landscaper. It is far less expensive than going to the pet stores. I like the look of this rock. I like the way it looks in a lake tank. You can set up, we've used it in other tanks before. What Joanna decided to do, usually what I do when I do these kind of tanks is I just kind of stack them up and leave spaces in between. She kind of did something where they are on an angle, they're more stacked and kind of more random looking than what I would normally do. So that's what we got on the left hand side. You can see throughout the tank that we do have some plants and for the most part we've used the same trio of plants that we normally use. We've got some jungle val, we've got some anubias, some java fern, and at some point I do want to add a couple crypts. And again, these are easy to grow plants. I am not looking to do CO2. I don't want to be messing with lights. I don't want to be messing with a bunch of fertilizers. I just want something that's going to grow and not have to worry about it. Again, thank you to Aquarium Co-op. We've got a couple of Fluval 3.0 lights on here, making the tank and the fish look really, really cool. You can see here in terms of filtration, again, pretty standard for us. We've got our two sponge filters here. That is primarily for biological filtration. We'll do a little bit of mechanical, mechanical filtration as well. We do have a hang on the back filter over there, and that is more for mechanical filtration. Anything that gets kind of caught up in the water column, we want it to go in there and be removed. Now. Again, we've got our flagstone in various spots. She also used some round rocks. And you'll also notice there are some shells because we do have some shell dwellers in this tank. At least to start, we've got some Neolampralagus meleagris. Other fish in this tank, we do have some ink fin calvus. I love these fish. You're not seeing a lot of the fish in the wider shots because they love to hide. That is one of the downsides of some of the Lake Tanganyika fish that we've picked. At least they've been in our fish room, rather reclusive and a little bit hard to find at times, but we'll go ahead and bring them out in various shots. So we've got our ink fin calvus. Love these fish, really cool. The dominant males sometimes will show off even a little bit of yellow color. Their lips will get a little bit blue. The meleagers, we only have two in here. 
In the far corner here, you can see we've got some Ophthalmotilapia ventralis powder blues. Almost all of these fish came from our 40 gallon breeder on the other side. They were hiding a lot. It was overgrown with jungle valve. That tank is going to get a redo. I don't know what's gonna go in there yet, but we moved all those fish because all those fish were Lake Tanganyikan. They're in here. So the powder blues, the ink fin calvis, and the meleagris were all from the 40 gallon. We also have some Cypochromus leptosoma that we pulled from a different 40 gallon. I wanted to get a small colony of those started. I would really love for them to breed in here and populate this tank the way they did the other one. Of course, the challenge is going to be, we've got the calvis in here and they may pick off babies, but the, the Cypochromus leptosoma, they tend to spit out babies that are sort of large and they like to be open water. So hopefully the calvis will leave them alone, at least enough of them so we can build up a small colony. We'll see. The purpose of this tank is not really for breeding, it's just for looking at. The other thing that we have in here, and it's gonna be really hard to see because they're on the rather small side, and that is we've got some Lamprologus tigerpictilis. These are really cool fish. They look a lot like our Calypterus that we've got in the 33 long. A little bit more goby-like. I like these fish a lot. Like I said, they're on the smaller side, so we put about 10 of them in here. And as soon as we did, they went between all the little crevices of the rocks where I suspect they're going to stay for a while. But as these fish start to become more comfortable, as they come out more in their surroundings, we will make sure to bring them out, to show them on camera, and to get them at least on Instagram. But really cool fish. The other fish that we added in this tank that I'm really excited about are some gold ocelotus. I love these shell dwellers. We have them in a 20 long. We've been breeding them for a while. I pulled out a group of four because I want to see what they do in this tank. I think it's going to be really interesting and I think their colors are going to look a lot nicer out of these Fluball 3.0s compared to the standard fluorescent light we had on that 20 long. They're also a little bit more outgoing than a lot of the fish we have in there and so I'm hoping their personality will bring out the other fish, allow them to realize, hey, everything is safe. But I'm excited to have these fish. If they breed in here, great. If they don't, like I said, this is a display tank that is the purpose but i think we should probably see some breeding out of these gold ocelotus at some point they're really awesome fish one of my favorite shell dwellers in terms of looks i just think that they look absolutely amazing and something to keep in mind this tank is not even close to being done yet there are so many cool lake tanganyikan fish that are out there I do want to stay on the smaller side. I'm not going to put front toast or anything in here, but stuff that is appropriate for the size tank that we have. There are a lot of fish out there, a lot of the Julitochromis that are out there that are really, really cool that could probably be added to this tank. It's not done yet. We want to also add some more open water fish, uh, maybe some daffodil brachardi, but it's going to be a work in progress. Like I said, there's still a few plants we want to add, but I like the way it's turned out so far. Some of the flagstone that we pulled out, we pulled out from the... 40 gallon breeder. That's why you see a little bit of algae on there. I wanted to use reuse that rock as well as the new rock that we got. The sand, we went with white sand. I think for the most part that tends to show off Lake Tang and you can fish better than a darker substrate. Not always, but usually it does. I like the lighter colors in the Lake Tang and you can fish, especially those ones. They're going to be more silvery blue. Uh, tends to bring out those lighter colors, those contrasts a little bit more. So this is the Lake Tanganyikan setup. I really like what Joanna did with this. We are gonna be doing lots of updates because this tank is not even close to being done. We're gonna be adding more fish in the near future. So if you enjoyed this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. To set up the new 125 gallon tank, I have Joanna here with me. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> Come on, man, I'm tired. I've been I in this know, a long not. time. I just wanna get One, two. Do you do this every time? Sometimes. Sometimes I got a 50-minute video. I got a 50-minute video with like two minutes of usable stuff. I'm <laughs> always like this. <laughs>